Hi. Uh, there's quite a few problems that you might be able to fix with your Magic Touch touchscreen simply by doing an uninstall and then reinstalling the driver. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. We're going to start with the touchscreen installed. The touchscreen controller is currently plugged in. You start by opening up your installation file to start the setup. If you've downloaded the driver, you can simply take the zip file and start out with an extraction, and then open up the extracted files and find setup. Setup right here. Usually will appear in all lowercase letters simply as the word setup, or it may appear as setup.exe. Double click, select your controller type, and then click uninstall. It'll work for a moment, and then tell you to reboot the computer. You can go ahead and click OK, and then you're done. Now be sure when you uninstall, after it tells you to reboot, to unplug the touchscreen controller from the computer. You really need to make sure that the controller is not plugged in when the computer boots back up and there's no driver installed. Reinstalling your driver. Now we'll start with the touchscreen controller unplugged from the computer. It is important that you do not plug in the controller before you install the driver. Now if you're following along after the uninstall, you should have the extracted and the zip file still on your desktop somewhere. So you can open up the extracted folder and run setup again. Again select your controller type and this time click install. Now it only works for a moment and it comes back and asks you to plug in the Magic Touch USB controller to USB port. You go ahead and do that. The Windows should work in the taskbar for just a moment, finding the new device. Once it's done, you click OK and it asks you to reboot again. After this reboot, you should be installed and then you can move on to calibrating the touchscreen. After installing your touchscreen, you may find that touching the screen is not exactly accurate. Now to improve the accuracy of the touchscreen, one of the most important steps that you can perform is what we call the calibration. This is something that you will perform in the touch USB icon. So you open up Touch USB, and then there's a big button in the upper right corner that says Calibration. Click that, and then it goes to another menu with five points or 25 points to use for calibration. Now for, the, for most touch screens, five points is more than sufficient. We include the 25 points to give a higher degree of accuracy, but it's usually not necessary. So select five points and click Go. Now your screen should turn gray, you'll see a point flashing in the upper left corner. Now with the touch screen, touch and hold this point for about one second and then let go. And it moves to the next point and the next. And you go ahead and calibrate all five touch points. And then you can test it on the next screen just to be sure that it's accurate.